In every nation there comes a time when we must look beyond politics and people to seek the guidance of God himself. Have you ever thought about the power of a daily prayer for our leaders? Today, as we face new beginnings and uncertain times, let us gather our hearts to pray for guidance, strength, and wisdom over our nation's leadership. I invite you to join me, not just to pray for one day, but to lift up our nation's leaders every single day. This is a daily call to God to shape our leaders and our own lives according to His purpose. I will pray with you a powerful prayer for a wisdom that transcends politics, a love that binds us, and a leadership that reflects God's heart for justice, peace, and unity. Stay with me until the end and join in a prayer that I hope will bring peace and strength for today and for all the days to come. I encourage you to listen all the way through and to replay this prayer as often as needed as we unite in faith and ask God to bless this nation and its leaders. My dear friends, I welcome you all to this moment of prayer. Today we are going to delve into the biblical perspective of leadership, understanding why it is so essential to intercede for our leaders and then we will close with a powerful prayer that you can revisit each day. No matter our individual opinions or backgrounds, we share a responsibility to lift up those in leadership, seeking God's guidance and favor on their lives. Today, let us reflect on how the scripture teaches us to approach leadership, to seek God's wisdom and blessing for those entrusted with authority, and to find peace in the promise that God is ultimately in control. God's view of leadership and authority is clear, and the Bible encourages us to pray for those in positions of authority. Regardless of political affiliations or personal beliefs, Scripture reminds us of a divine truth. All leadership is ultimately in God's hands. It is God who appoints kings and presidents, governors and officials, and He calls us to lift them up in prayer with hearts full of humility, seeking His will above our own desires. With Donald Trump as the newly elected president, we need to come together to pray, lifting him up to God for wisdom and direction. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 16, we are reminded of a powerful truth. For by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. This verse brings a profound sense of peace because it reminds us that all authority is established by God. Leadership on earth reflects His will and serves His purposes even when we do not always understand how, so you ought to deepen your faith knowing that God is at work shaping our nation and our leaders to fulfill His divine plan. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 through 3 speaks directly to the heart regarding why we should pray for our leaders. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. The call to pray for those in authority goes beyond mere support. It's an invitation to intercede for their actions, decisions, and strength. By praying, we invite God to work through our leaders, blessing them with wisdom, patience, and integrity. It is through such prayer that we, as a nation, can experience peace and holiness in our communities and homes. In Luke chapter 10, verse 27, Jesus summarizes the heart of God's law, saying, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. This command includes praying for our leaders with a heart of love and compassion, seeing them not as distant figures, but as people who bear the weight of responsibility for millions. Praying with love means seeking not just what benefits ourselves, but what blesses our nation as a whole. The wisdom of Proverbs reinforces the call to godly leadership. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 14 teaches, For lack of guidance, a nation falls, but victory is won through many advisors. This verse 
underscores the value of wise counsel and collaboration in leadership. That is why we need to pray that our leaders are surrounded by advisors who are discerning, insightful, and grounded in righteousness, people who offer direction that is rooted in justice, compassion, and wisdom. Similarly, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21 reminds us, many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. This passage gives us hope in the face of uncertainty. No matter the plans or agendas of human hearts, God's purpose remains sovereign and unchanging. When we pray, we submit to His higher will, acknowledging that His ways are beyond our understanding but always good and righteous. Psalm 22 verse 28 and Psalm 47 verse 8 both express a foundational truth of Scripture. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and He rules over the nations, and God reigns over the nations. God is seated on His holy throne. These verses center our focus on God's unchanging power. Earthly leaders come and go, yet God's rule is eternal and perfect. As we reflect on these words, we find assurance that no matter who sits in positions of earthly authority, God's throne remains permanent and unchallenged. He is the true King, and our faith rests secure in His everlasting kingdom. In Titus chapter 3, verses 1 and 2, Paul encourages believers to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready to do whatever is good, to slander no one, to be peaceable and considerate, and always to be gentle toward everyone. This passage is a reminder of our role in fostering a spirit of peace and respect. We are called to build unity, to speak well of others, and to embody the kindness and humility that Christ himself demonstrated. Romans chapter 14 verse 19 emphasizes the importance of peace and unity. Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification. As we pray for our leaders, we also pray for our own actions, asking God to guide us in ways that encourage and uplift rather than divide. May we be agents of His peace, speaking life and encouragement into every situation. Finally, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 8 calls us to live harmoniously with compassion and humility. Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. In this, we find the heart of Christ-like leadership. We pray for our leaders to embody these qualities, compassion, humility, and unity. Our prayer is not only that they lead well, but that they reflect God's love to the world, demonstrating a care for people that mirrors uh, His own. Whether you are watching this video as part of your daily devotional or seeking peace in times of uncertainty, stay with me until the end, for I will pray a powerful prayer for leadership that reflects God's will and bring favor to the people. Now to all those within the sound of my voice, let us lift up our hearts and voices in prayer. Join me as we bring our leaders before the throne of God, praying for His guidance, His protection, and His transforming love over their lives and our dear nation. In the sovereign and supreme name of Jesus, we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, King of the universe, we come to you in humility and faith, recognizing that all authority in heaven and on earth belongs to you. You are the God that sits in the heavens and make the earth his footstool, the omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient God, the Lord who reigns and the earth trembles. Lord, we worship and adore you in the beauty of your holiness. We thank you for this moment and for allowing us to witness this day. We are grateful to you for our lives, our families, our careers, and our businesses. We trust that you are working things out for our good, dear Lord. Today, we lift up our leaders to you, asking that you guide their hearts, strengthen their minds, and fill them with wisdom beyond their understanding. Lord, we pray that our leaders will recognize their positions as sacred responsibilities, ordained by you. May they seek your wisdom in every decision, knowing that true power lies not in authority alone, but in surrender to your will. Lead them, Father, to govern with justice, compassion, and mercy, 
and let their actions reflect your love. We ask that you surround our leaders with godly counsel, men and women of integrity who will guide them toward truth. Let your spirit dwell among them, softening their hearts where there is pride, enlightening their minds where there is confusion, and bringing courage where there is fear. May they act not for their own interests, but for the well-being of all people, especially those who are vulnerable and in need. Gracious Father, we pray that you protect our leaders from the influence of greed, corruption, and fear. May they be examples of honesty and righteousness, leading not by worldly wisdom, but by your divine truth. Strengthen them in times of challenge, and may they rely on you in moments of doubt. Let them be leaders who embody humility, gentleness, and strength. We ask for peace across our nation, Lord, a peace that begins in the hearts of those who govern. Bind us together as one people and heal the divisions among us. May our leaders be instruments of unity, working toward a society that reflects your kingdom on earth. And Father, we do not pray only for those in government, but for all who hold leadership in our communities, workplaces, and families. Let your hand be upon them too, guiding them to lead with love and integrity. Pour out your wisdom upon them, Lord, especially in moments of decision-making that impact countless lives. Grant them discernment beyond human understanding, and may they be sensitive to your spirit as they govern. Let every choice they make be aligned with your principles of love, justice, and mercy, reflecting the heart of a shepherd rather than the pride of authority. Lord, we also ask that you instill in them a spirit of compassion for those who suffer and for those whose voices often go unheard. Touch their hearts so they may see the world through your eyes, with a desire to uplift, protect, and empower the vulnerable. May they use their influence to provide for the needy, defend the weak, and create a society where every individual is valued, cherished, and given a chance to flourish. We pray that they not only understand the weight of their role, but embrace it with humility and a true heart for service. Father, we pray for strength and resilience for our leaders in times of adversity. Just as you strengthened Moses when he felt inadequate, David when he faced opposition, and Esther when she stood in the face of danger, we ask that you embolden our leaders with the courage to act according to what is right, even when it is difficult. Equip them to stand firm in their convictions, especially when truth and justice demand a bold stand. Guide them, Lord, to walk with integrity in their personal lives as well as in their public roles. Let honesty and transparency be the foundations of their leadership, for we know that righteousness exalts a nation. Father, keep their hearts pure and guard them from temptation. Surround them with those who will encourage them to walk in paths of uprightness, who will hold them accountable to you and to those they serve. And, Father, we ask for unity, not only among leaders, but throughout our entire community. Help our leaders to bridge divides, to listen with empathy, and to seek common ground, so that peace may flourish among us. Grant them the grace to forgive and the humility to admit fault when necessary, modeling the love and reconciliation you call us to. Bind us together, Lord that we may work toward a brighter future under your guidance. Loving Father, we pray for patience and endurance among your people. May we trust in your timing, even when it seems difficult to understand. Help us remember that you are working all things together for good, even when we cannot see the outcome. Strengthen our hearts, Lord, and remind us that our hope is not in earthly systems, but in your eternal kingdom. We also ask that you would instill a spirit of repentance in our hearts, that as a nation we would turn back to you. 
May our leaders and our people recognize the beauty of humility and seek forgiveness where we have strayed from your ways. Help us, Lord, to seek you above all, to draw near to you in our decisions, and to value righteousness over personal gain or ambition. Grant us a spirit of gratitude for the freedom to come before you in prayer, lifting up our leaders and our needs. Let us never take for granted the blessing of being able to seek your guidance openly and fervently. Teach us to approach you with reverence and awe, understanding the privilege we have as your children to come boldly to your throne. Lord, fill our hearts with love for one another despite our differences. Help us to bear one another's burdens, to pray for those with whom we may disagree, and to foster an atmosphere of kindness, empathy, and understanding. May we reflect your love to the world around us, so that others may be drawn to you and find comfort and peace in your presence. Sweet Lord, we acknowledge that true change begins in the hearts of each of us. Inspire us as individuals to live out the qualities we seek in our leaders. May we be agents of kindness, justice, and integrity in our own spheres of influence, knowing that as we pray for transformation in others, you are also working to transform us. And now, Lord, as we continue this journey each day, let our lives, our thoughts, and our actions be guided by your Spirit. Let us be a blessed light in a world that so desperately needs your love and may we bring glory to your name in everything we do. We entrust all things to you, knowing that you hold the universe in your hands and that your plans are for good. Let your will be done in our lives, in our leaders, and in our world. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering our prayer. In the mighty, precious and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare these blessings upon you. Type praise Jesus below if this prayer blessed you. Remember to subscribe. To God be all the glory. May his grace and peace be with you.